I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two important questions based on exponential equations. Question number one. Solve 3 to the power of 5x times 9 to the power of x square equals to 27. Question number two. Solve 25 to the power of x plus 3 times 5 to the power of x equals to 4. Let us see how to solve these exponential equations. So I'll provide both the solutions here. Let's begin with the first one, which is 3 to the power of 5x times 9 to the power of x square equals to 27. Now we could write all these bases in the form of exponents of 3. So that is the first step. So we could write this as 3 to the power of 5x times 9 is 3 square. So 3 square to the power of x square. 27 is 3 cubed. Now we'll apply the laws of uh, exponents. So we get 3 to the power of 5x times 3 to the power of, this gives you 2 times x square equals to 3 to the power of 3. Now you can add them up, right? So if you add the exponents on the left side, you get 5x plus 2 times x square equals to 3. So that gives you a quadratic equation to solve. So you could rewrite this as 2x square plus 5x minus 3 equals to 0. Now this could be factored using product and sum. We want product of two numbers as minus 6 and some of these numbers as 5. So the combination is 6 plus and 1 minus, right? So we could write 5x as 2x squared plus 6x minus x minus 3 equals to 0. So that gives you 2x is common factor for the first two terms. So we get x plus 3 minus x plus 3 equals to 0. Now x plus 3 is a common factor. So we have 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So that gives you two possible solutions for x. So let me just squeeze them here. One is x equals to, here we get x equals to minus 1 and x equals to half. Correct. So these are the two solutions which we get. So our answer is, uh, sorry, x equals to minus 3. This will be 0 for x equals to minus 3. So x equals to minus 3 and x equals to half. Equating these factors to 0. Perfect. So that is how you could solve question number 1. Now let's look into question number 2. Here we are given 25, let me start from here, 25 to the power of x plus 3 times 5 to the power of x equals to 4. 25 is 5 square, right? So I could write this as 5 square to the power of x plus 3 times 5 to the power of x equals to 4. Now if I substitute... 5 to the power of x as let's say y then what happens then the first term gives us 5 square 5 to the power of 2x which is y square plus this term gives us 3y bringing 4 to the left side gives us minus 4 equals to 0 correct now this is a quadratic equation which could be factored. So we could write this as 4 times 1, 4 positive, x plus 4 times, I mean, y minus 1, correct. 
equals to 0. So that gives you two solutions, one y equals to minus 4, the other one is y equals to plus 1. Now since y is a power, right, so <clears throat> in this case we expect y to be greater than 0, right? since y is to phi to the power of x, correct, therefore this is not valid, however this is a valid solution. So what we get here is y equals to 1 is a valid solution, so we can write phi to the power of x as equal to 1, correct. Now 1 is phi to the power of 0 and that gives you the answer as x equals to 0. So for x equals to 0 the quadratic equation is valid. So the exponential equation is valid. So we have one answer here which is x equals to 0. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear and that is how you could solve exponential equations. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and all the best to the students who are taking text on logarithmic and exponential functions this week. Thank you.